So generally we divide uh, the book reviews into three categories, um, iconography, um, art history, and uh, religious context. All three categories are important, but they're important in different ways, and they're also important for different uh, types of people. Some people have no interest in religious context. Other people are only interested in religious context and no interest in art history. Iconography is only of interest to a very select few of people, actually. But with Himalayan art, we have uh, different religious traditions, and one of the uh, larger traditions is uh, the Nyingma school of Tibetan Buddhism. And the Nyingma school can be divided into, just generally, into um, oral teachings, early oral teachings, and then later revealed treasure teachings. And with uh, many paintings and some sculpture, we have uh, we can find inscriptions written on the painting either on the front uh, or on the reverse and with sculpture around the base of of the object especially if it's um, if it's a portrait figure a uh, figure of a person uh, so these names can be very difficult to track down now in tibetan language there are sources for this where you can you can uh, look up certain names in English, with, with books, it can be very, very difficult. But luckily, we do have three books that are very important. Uh, and the first, the absolute most important for, for names of revealed treasure teachers, tertons, they're called, is uh, Masters of the Nyingma Lineage, uh, Crystal Mirror uh, 11, um, by Dharma Publishing. Uh, so this one, I believe, is 1995 out of California. This is really the most important book in English because it has the most information. Uh, so it's uh, it's really essential if this is your area of study. It's uh, Nyingma and Nyingma Tertans. This book is a must-have. Now the second book is is uh, much older, but it's based on a on a text by Jungle Control, and it's called The Rise of Esoteric. Buddhism in Tibet by Eva M. Darge, and uh, in there are a lot of uh, early tertons, the early treasure revealers and biographies. That was done, published by Motilal Barnarsidas back in 1977. Now, the third book is more specific to the Longchen Yintik, but it also has uh, many other teachers related to Longchen Yintik who are also tertons in their own right independent of the Longchen Nintik, and that text is called Masters of Meditation and Miracles by Tulku Tundup, and I believe it's uh, published Shambhala 1996. These are the three most important books that I know of in the English language for, for uh, studying the different names and uh, life stories of the Nyingma Tertans. Now, press the like button, you can subscribe, you can ask questions, and you can join Har on Patreon for longer videos, unique videos, unpublished essays and articles.